All right, guys, it's a. Uh, this is this is this is vlog number three. Currently, I am dying on the inside because uh, I I've had a few shitty days of eating of, of eating. I I knew this was gonna happen to me. I shouldn't be allowed to bulk, but you know what? I'm committed. I don't care. All right. You know what? Even if I hit bare mode, fuck it. All right. Second year of lifting. It's probably better for me to be overdoing it than it is for me underdoing it. Six pack of abs are cool and everything, but what's the point if you're a fucking twig? Am I right? So, I'll show you a progress update on my physique, and you're gonna cry because now I am like way more bear like. And not just because I didn't shave, but you'll, you'll see in a second. Ugh. Ugh. You see that? Oh yeah, it's the beer gut. Just kidding. This is actually the physique update. I am for sure fluffier. That's well, that's without. Um, I mean, just look at me. I'm furrier. That's for sure. I didn't bother to shave because you know. Hey, you're bulking, I mean, uh, whatever, but I'm pretty sure my arms grew a little bit. I mean, if you see them relatively to my body, they're at least, like, almost, uh, at least half my width. So, I'm getting at least a decent portion of my arms. The chest is going nicely. Speaking of which, even though my body fat obviously went up, as long as I'm still making progress in the gym, that is what's most important. I don't care if you gain two pounds of fat, as long as your bench, as long as your squat, as long as your deadlift's going up, you, whatever, just accept it. It's gonna happen. But enjoy life. It's bulking season, boys. Check this out, guys. <clears throat> the best way to start your morning, just some black coffee, uh, French vanilla. Doesn't matter, I don't give a shit. I just grab whatever. That or a night. I like two. Uh, nope, not that. Fuck that. Nope, not that. Ah, uh, here we are, boys. Mandarin orange. It's caffeine free, so I don't have to worry about dying at night. You want to make sure you want to limit your caffeine use to about 200 to 400 milligrams a day, so you're not a crazy mofo. Probably punching random old ladies or something, so just keep that in mind. Alright, guys, so I decided to drive down to my local big five for one reason is that I have a fucking horrible wrist problem I believe it's because when I was younger I used to I used to do like a lot of skating and shit so every time I like I fall I'd like hit my wrist on something and plus I'm a, a competitive melee player so yeah I'm gonna Mewtwo king that shit and now my wrists are fucked so I'm gonna go in there see if they have wrist wraps I mean, I don't know. I don't have too high hopes. They even have a dip belt for damn sakes, but I'll be back and I'll see if I have any. All right, okay. The wraps have been bought. All right, now I'm just driving to go pick up the, the crew. When we're meeting one more crew member down at the gym and today's gonna be a very good back and leg session, boys. So we're gonna be doing way to pull up to sip chips because um, last week I plateaued on weighted shins. And so the next, option to do is exercise rotation so i'm be doing pull-ups wide grip and uh for legs i'm gonna be doing some weighted pistols and uh sumo deadlifts so let's enjoy and the crew's almost there and the shirt fits me well okay i'm back sorry i didn't record at the gym it's because uh vasa is pretty anal about filming in there so i just rather not risk it and just kind of you know, just not record, but I'll tell you, I did weighted pull-ups, switched to wide grip, of course. Um, I strapped on about 35, but I really focused on range of motion because I just really focus on bringing the elbows in to my, I don't know, sides, so it activates the lats better. And another little pro tip, if you want less uh, bicep activation on your pull-ups, um, go uh, put your thumb over the bar. That way it focuses more on the lats because if you grip it, like that, you'll have more bicep activation. Um, I still like to use biceps, but just in case you guys want to like isolate the lats more, I guess. But there's that. So, post-workout meal. 
It is 3.15, and I'm about to break my fast, because now it's about 19 hours fasting. I'm 19 hours fasted on a lame bulk. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm probably going to do two scoops of whey, get 40 grams of protein, and then I'm going to do about four servings of oatmeal. So that way I'm not dying and I feel full, because oatmeal is godly for that reason. So let me go grab that, and... I'm a crackhead, just like any other bodybuilder. Well, now I'm powerlifting because the bulk. Why not powerlift when you're bulking? Anyways, using Tupperware. So that's very basic of me. So we gotta measure that out. Let's see here. Zero grams. Oh, oh. That's too much. Gotta, gotta take some out. So I want about 160 grams of oats. I'm a crackhead and I weigh everything. Uh, I never understood why people still use uh, volume to measure their, to use for measurements. I think weight is so much better because that's the definitive way to knowing the energy intake of the food. So there you are. Oh no, if you guys can't see that, that says 161. I'm going to cry every time. I'm gonna get fat. I'm gonna go over my caloric intake because of that. But anyways, I'm gonna go eat this up and that's gonna be meal one. So put me at, uh, to me at one, I'm going to be at about 850 calories. Oh, and I'm going to eat one of these apples. So that put me at about 940, 950. Don't really care. I'm guesstimating, but just make sure you hit your protein for the day. And well, see you in the next meal. All right, guys, this is meal number two. Uh, just two of these, uh, light and fit Greek yogurts, 24 grams of protein, 160 calories. And I'm feeling a complete ass right now for whatever reason, so, ugh, I might just be dehydrated, so, hopefully I feel better in a minute. Okay guys, so for meal number three, I'm gonna have some of this shit. Um, keep in mind, when you do eat things like lunch meat, you gotta, gotta look at that little thing, uh, uh, come on, focus, focus, it's very important. Sodium, you see how crazy that is? One serving of this crap is 25% of your sodium. So if you do plan on eating stuff like this, make sure to drink enough water. I can't stress that enough. So I'm gonna make a couple of wraps with, with that too. These are really good. 50 calories a pop, and about four grams of protein. Um, a lot of fiber. And considering that I just ate oatmeal, uh, I, I guess the bathroom's gonna be quite the interesting thing today. I thought, I don't know. But anyways, I still feel like shit. But hopefully, again, hopefully I feel better by the end of today. Well, good luck to y'all. All right, guys. I'm gonna have like literally like 20 servings of this cereal because it seriously is like my favorite thing to have when, I don't know, it just, it's very satiating and it's like my favorite carb source is toasted rice. And I'm a cereal addict, I swear. That and a peanut butter addict, but you know me, I can't really enjoy that anymore. But as you can see, 100 calories for a serving, and look at all them cobs. That's what's making me PR in the gym, people. Don't underestimate them. Even when you're cutting, don't just don't cut out carbs. You need them. They're your love. So I have like a billion servings of that, and that's probably be my end of the day. And so I ate everything in about a. When did I start eating? I started eating around three o'clock, so about four hour window. So everything about a four hour window, but you know, that's why I stayed more lean. I have more self control in comparison to earlier today. So, huzzah. Oh, I gotta learn all about this fun stuff, guys. That's right. I'm not just a fitness nerd. I also am a computer nerd. Hence why I have multiple monitors and I built my own computer. But yeah, more than what meets the eye, alright? LOLs. That was cheesy. Morning guys. So it is the next day, obviously, hence wearing my old school Twilla hoodie. But anyways, I want to give a brief explanation on 
why I choose to do powerlifting when I'm bulking. Well, mainly uh, just getting stronger at a quicker rate than normal because, you know, with the extra energy that I'm taking in due to the balance, I might as well put to good use, right? You may do it with what you have. That's the key. I mean, you could say I like to do bodybuilding in the summer and powerlifting in the winter, just like every other person in the world, but why not focus on something else that's cool if you're bulking? I mean, that's the main purpose of the bulk in general, is just to get stronger. And so when you get stronger and you try to drive up your strength, you're pretty much driving up your absolute strength in general, but even though your relative strength is probably going to be a little bit weaker or same, um, when you cut back down the fat, your relative strength, again, will be way higher than it was before if you don't cut like a moron. If you cut slowly, slow and steady wins the race, consistent about bulking, but I kind of just said yellow and just eat whatever. Again, this thing's not too serious and enjoy life. Get stronger, be better than what you were before, and make do with what you have and make the best of it.